guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm not in England, I'm not in Canada. I did take a bit of a hiatus after Joyride. I needed a bit of time to myself. We are back though at Red Bull District Ride. And this is the first feature. We've got a big flat drop into a big 180 turn into a little hip. Yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. The build up here is actually insane. Like we're riding off the side of a castle. Pretty incredible. Yeah, let's go down and check out the rest of the course. Let's start with the big hip. Do it. Once you land the big step down, fly right around this massive curve all right, which is basically that as well. We got to watch out for this death tree. You don't want to headbutt that. But the only thing that's a bit of an issue is that there's no flat bottom between the uh, end of the quarter pipe, or the wall ride, oh, and the actual jump, which is really fun. That's going to be an interesting thing to try and get used to. Yeah, hips not too crazy big. Looks quite plumb, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just pull back doubly hard for it. Then into the next feature. This is the next feature. It's kind of they're still finishing it off, but you've got like a step down with an up box. You could like 180 on, 180 off sort of thing. But I think most people are just going to gap the whole thing just because the speed for the next feature needs to be pretty insane. So we want to go as fast as we can. And I'm not going to do tech stuff, you know what I'm like. I just want to jump the whole thing. So yeah, jump the whole thing, see how far I can go. Hopefully I don't land on cobbles. Because <laughs> this is the floor. That's what we run ride on in between all the features. It's pure cobblestone, so it's going to be really fun if you crash and put your fingers out. Real fun. This is the next feature from the step down thing. So it's kind of like an up box, but quite a mellow one. So hopefully, I'm assuming not many people are going to trick on, but there'll be all the tricks off, and the landing you off is massive. I won't trick that, no. You're crap. I am crap. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the judges being really nice to me, as always. Yeah. Tom's crap. I'll be serious now, be serious. <laughs> I think you'll do very well, mate. I think we're fine. I reckon someone's going to gap the whole thing, though. I've just realised that this is a, what is it, a Speaker. generator? Speaker. Uh, so we've got on top, so that'll be the gap on. Actually really mellow takeoff. Should be fine. Obviously two people I've ridden, I think Nick and I rode it the other day just to test it for everyone. And the gap off isn't massive, but that landing is extremely flat. It's extremely flat. But sure it'll be fine. Nice little three off or something. Probably a front flip for me. Yeah, then more cobbles. Then we got into the skate parky slash quarter pipe section which actually looks like my kind of heaven so yeah let's go check that out once you come off the landing up there you got pedal down the road along here and then we've got this massive quarter pipe generally it must be about 20 foot tall so you go quarter pipe to the left land quarter pipe to the right and then out into the abyss section but i think there's definitely a couple of options to be done up here that we can definitely change and have a look at for me anyway but I think it'd be fun, and then we go over to the Abbas to step up and then into the dirt jumps. So let's head over there and check it out. So after the quarter pipe section, we come into the Abbas section, which is a nice big step up. It's got a little nose bonk feature here for all the jibby guys, but obviously I'll try it as a step up. And then it goes into another little step up, then into the dirt jump section. And we've got some sketchy stairs to climb. Oh. He's Italian, can you tell? Vaffan Gulo. Um, and then we <laughs> do the step up. And we've got a little fly out thing to go into the dirt jump section as well. But the architecture here is incredible. Like just the buildings that we're like riding between, it's just ridiculous. So we cruise along here, drop in to this step down. So it's like a, it's like a Spox really. <coughs> box into then the dirt jumps but lip looks quite mellow and the landing is very steep it's kind of a bit back to front so we'll have a look what do you think Anton it's quite a mellow lip into a very steep landing very very steep yeah and then a lip that's actually smaller than Emil it's quite funny <laughs> when he stands next to it he's actually taller than it and they slowly get bigger all the way down the hill so you got one jump, two jump, and then like an on-off. I don't really know the point of that one. I think it's a tunnel for people to walk under, I don't really know. Yeah, probably. Then we've got, yeah, last jump, and then a quarter pipe. And then we go into the last big jump, which is pretty cool. So then we're down in the final square, and look at the size of the construction they have. So we've got 
roll in. They've got a little bone log up there. Massive landing. No. Two annoying Swedish no. idiots. No, 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 no. The course walk is over. I'm taking over. This is my channel now. Uh, bye. Unsubscribe. <laughs> what are you doing? Just going to finish this off and then I'm going to pad up and get right. Oh, same as us, but you're just behind a little bit. Yeah. Did you eat breakfast? Yeah. All right. So this is the last section. So yeah, we've got rolling, bone log, massive landing. Like the construction they've put into this is actually incredible to be honest. It's just so much money they pumped into this event. Then this is the final massive jump, which actually from a few years isn't as big as it used to be. This was actually quite a nice size jump. Uh, and then it's a massive like step, well step up with a longer landing, so it's kind of like a step down. Um, the lip is huge. So it's got to be at least like a 14, 15 foot lip. Yeah, pretty sweet. Look at the size of that landing. I like all the cool architecture and stuff we have in this city. But it's pretty sweet, but yeah. That's the course. I'm gonna go put some pads on. Start doing the first couple of laps. So yeah, let's jump straight into that. All right, on course, we got like the middle section of the course to arrive at the first practice. So the quarter pipes and then the dirt jump section. I'm gonna go for my first run. Hopefully I don't die. Fine. Then we've got this section. There's the dirt jumps. Quite small, actually. Yeah, should be fun. The only thing that's quite scary is how narrow they are. Oh, that's extremely narrow. Hope we get some cool tricks done. Fingers crossed. How can I need to go faster again? Oh. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Cool. That works. Then I was like. He's in. He's going to test the uh, rat drop for us. Oh, and Tommy G. Wow. How did he do that? Because he's actually crap at biking. quite slippery on all the plywood yeah all the plywood's really slippy I think it's because it's brand new but hasn't embedded in yet trying to slow down quite interesting actually 
especially if you get into the hip because it's actually really tight after the berm. There's like no flat bottom, just like round the berm, straight into the lip. Just trying to work it out, see if we can do something. Close, isn't it? Forgot about that. <laughs> I've kind of forgot it was closed. <laughs> That's really savage. Oh! <laughs> I almost missed the whole landing again. I just followed Tom. It's actually death having that there. Okay, finally made our way up to the big jump. So we got this weirdly small boner log, which is a bit weird. And then a massive roll in into the final jump. And last year, the crowd was so full, both sides, it was incredible. So this should be quite cool. I definitely don't want to be the first one to test it. I like a yak over here, I'm going to bully him to do it first. So yeah, should be fun. Oh, snug. Now 25 minutes to get back to the top again. So that's the big air jump. Not as big as it was previous years, but still pretty massive. And the only thing is there's one lift getting us up to the top. So it's quite a few of us. So it's taking a while to get us up the dropping again. I feel a few more annoying. My battery's about to run out and my bag's miles away. So this might be the end of this video. Epic day we had here in Nuremberg of District Rod, first day of practice. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.